You know how grandma is. When she gets inspired, she can't shut up. Well, you know, I love doing fairy gardens and you know, this week I was really inspired. I am always looking for new friends. I'm always looking for new ideas. Now these three new channels that I just started following, I probably will never hear from them. I mean, I, they could shock me. They're not huge channels, but they're not little channels. And I find channels, even when they are not huge, usually don't really answer me back. I don't know if they don't like my content or they're just too big to bother with me. I'm not a big channel and I've been working on my channel nine years. That's why I have 4,000 followers. I don't have 4,000 followers because I just joined YouTube because I've been on it so long. But I do have a consistent following and that's why I don't whine or complain about my following and because I do have people that come over every single day and watch my videos. And different people like different things. Like I love fairy gardens. So I'm sharing with you three new channels may or may not ever come back to my channel and you cannot worry about that. The most important thing when you're on YouTube and you're doing a lot of content like I do, you have to be inspired all the time. Finding new ideas, things maybe you've, even you've done in the past, but it inspires you to go back to where you want to be. And these all three are great channels. Well, two of them are great gardening channels and fairy garden channels. And one of them just did a beautiful display of fairies and I had to share it with you. But she does other things that I'm interested in, like home decor and cooking. So truthfully, all three channels are wonderful. And I wanted to share them with you. So sit down with a cup of tea. And these are not small channels. May or may not come back to give you any support. But they are going to get you out in that garden. Inspire you to think of something interesting to put new and different in your home or in the garden. Oh my gosh, they were all so inspiring. One of them made a beautiful water feature that I've never been brave enough to try. But it's just one thing I do need to do. You have to get over your fears of messing with electronics or water features, or, you know, you just need to stop. I mean, I make myself crazy with all my baby behavior when it's something different that I've done before. I am going to really try, maybe starting next month, buying supplies to make a water feature. There is no reason why I can't put a water feature together. Just fear. Fear of doing it. And that sounds crazy to some of you, but I am fearful of some things. Water features in the garden is one. I could put a water feature in the cozy corner. I mean, I have electricity there. I love doing little displays in the, the corner, and I have put water features in the cozy corner. There's no reason why I can't put one together. So that's what grandma's going to do next month. She's going to start buying supplies for that. I'm going to make a commitment to all of you. I've got to get out of my comfort zone and do something new and different to inspire me. So a water feature for the fairy garden is what's coming my way. And I'm going to show you what inspired me to think of it and to do it. Not that I haven't thought about it for some time, but I'm going to do it this time. So please go over and tell these three wonderful creators Grandma Sandy sent me. She gave you a shout out today. She loved your channel so much she couldn't wait to share them with you. With us, I guess. I'm sharing it with you guys. You know I can't speak properly. It's always fun watching Grandma try to make it through some dialogue on her channel. But they're all inspiring channels. Please go check them all out. Please give them a little love and please let them know that Grandma Sandy sent you. And here's another good sized channel. Visit our garden. Oh my gosh, he is fabulous too. He does beautiful garden videos, gives you so many great tips on gardening if you love gardening. But I'm going to show you why I started following his channel. Oh my gosh, another fairy garden. You know me. But this one here you're going to love too. So make sure you go and check him out. He's got a lot of great content and a lot of great gardening tips to help him. Now I just found this channel, so I haven't watched but just a couple of his videos, but because I love this channel so much, I'll probably work my way through it in the next couple of weeks, a lot of it. 
because I love him and he's just great. And when I find a channel that's on gardening and has some fairies thrown in, you know I'm gonna love it. But I'm gonna show you what got me in here to start watching this channel. I ran across this fairy garden he put up two weeks ago. So you're gonna might have to look for it to find it because it's been a couple of weeks since he put it up. But this is what I found. I was just strolling through as I do it all the time to get ideas for fairy gardens. And this one popped up. Now I'm gonna bring it up so you can see how fabulous now, this I have never done a water feature where you really have running water in it in a fairy garden. I've been afraid of it for whatever reason. But after watching this video, I think, you know, I need to stop being so afraid. He's gonna show you from the beginning to the end how to put this fairy garden together. So if you've had a fear of doing a water feature in your fairy garden, a real water feature with real water, give this guy a try. You might be really happy with what he shares. He turned out this garden so, so cute. I'm gonna show you it finished, but if you really wanna see how he did it, you need to go over and watch this video. Here it is, all finished. Please go check him out. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice keeps getting so bad. So you can see, doesn't it look fabulous? And this is something I've always been afraid of doing. I can't wait now to try to see if I can recreate something similar. Oh my, my, I just loved it. He did a great job on this project and I couldn't believe how beautiful everything looked. So if you like a good garden channel or maybe a few, a few fairy gardens, go check this one out. He is a fabulous garden channel and does a great job explaining everything, even how to do a fairy garden with a water feature. This is an awesome channel if you love fairy gardens, if you love succulents, if you love garden tours, go check out Rosebud's Home and Garden Channel. Oh my gosh, isn't she wonderful? And I love the content on this channel. And of course, Grandma loves succulents they're easy to care for and they do great in my berry garden and look great in my garden. So go check her out and see all the beautiful displays she puts together for you to enjoy. I usually do shout outs for small channels, but today we're doing some shout outs for some big channels because you guys know I love berry gardens. I love succulents and I want to share with you some channels you're probably not going to get any love from. But if you want channels that are big and beautiful and inspirational, here are some inspirational channels. And not all the channels I watch follow me, and I understand that, because they're big. They're not gonna mess with a little channel like me. I have to find the small channels and build a relationship with them. Well, I want to share it with a big channel with a lot of love to the point that you're going to be really inspired by their videos. They are just beautiful. I love them, love them, love them. And you're going to love them too if you love gardening and you love fairy gardens. This one is just a beautiful. I'm not gonna give you much to see because I want you to go over and look. But you can see a few fairies are passing us by with the succulents. Go check her out. She's an awesome channel and full of great content. You're going to love her channel. Just found her today. I was so impressed by this channel. I had to share her with you. You see, I'm following her now and I gave her a thumbs up. This video was breathtakingly beautiful. Go check it out. If you love succulents, fairy gardens, and want to be inspired to put more gardens like this together. Look at all these fairy gardens. So many fairy gardens to inspire me to get busy in my own garden and start getting some more succulents and taking cuttings for ones I already own and have. Isn't this a beautiful, beautiful video? It really is inspiring to see it all. Please go check this channel out. She's a great, great channel. You're going to love her. Here's another one of her videos just to show you all the beautiful things she shares and all the inspiration she's going to give you. Please watch her videos from the beginning to the end. Be inspired to get out there in your garden. Make a few more succulent gardens and maybe throw in a few fairy gardens. 
You're going to love what she puts up. She has great, great content on her channel, and you can see she's not a little channel. She's a biggie. So I can't promise you you're going to get any response back from her. But if you want to get some great garden tips, some great good cooking ideas, this is a channel you might want to think about going and checking out. She has a beautiful home, a wonderful daughter, and she's just so creative. And everything she does is just fabulous. And here is one of my favorite new channels I just happened to run across today. And if you can see why, you need to go over and check out this channel. I don't want to show you very much of these posts because I want you to go and see all the beautiful things she's done. The very first thing that grabbed me, and you know why if you really look at it, it's a wall of mushrooms and fairies in houses and it is put together so beautifully and she's so creative she does so many great things i've never heard of mushroom shelves oh my gosh you know i've got to rush over now and buy some of these i'm planning on redoing my bedroom i'm sure my husband's gonna love seeing this i was already going to do a wall of butterflies and garden hats going across one wall. Now I can see I need to start stocking up and buying some of these mushroom shelves. I have tons and tons of little tiny fairy accessories already. Now I'll have some place to display them besides being in a box. Oh my gosh, I just loved it. So go over and see. Now, when you see this little display of mushrooms, it looks really, really wonderful, but you got to see what's going along with it. That I'm only showing you the little, little bits of this channel because I want you to go and check it out. You are going to be amazed at what she has done with her daughter's bedroom and how fabulous it looks. And I'm not going to show you nothing but these mushrooms on the wall because you've got to run over and see it. Please let her know that Grandma Sandy sent you, and I hope you are as amazed as much as I was by this channel.